I'm fixing it, I'm filming it. Well, I'm about to install an ice maker kit. And it's not really for just ice. You know, it's for a fridge that makes ice and dispenses water. You also might need to install a water line for you, your humidifier. And as you can see, way up there, there's the other one. You can get these kits at uh, most hardware places. And this one is for going on copper line. I will uh, show you how to install it on a copper line as well as PEX. That's the plastic white lines going through newer homes. So I'll show you both ways of installing a water line to your appliance. So safety first. Make sure you always know where your main water is coming into your house. So you can actually shut it off in case of an emergency. Now, you don't really need it to do a saddle valve installation, but let's say something does go haywire, you know where you can go right away. Make sure it's accessible so you can shut it off. And as far as placing your saddle valve, like I said, it all depends. Um, if you're installing it for your fridge, obviously this is your main water coming in. So, so you follow that line and you see where it goes up into your ceiling that's where you're going to want to connect it to your uh, the closest to your fridge as possible yeah you could stick it here three quarter pipe or the half inch smaller pipe but uh, try to get as close as fridge to possible or accessible or within length of the plastic line that they gave you do not install it before the, uh, your main meter you'll get yourself into a lot of trouble they don't want you getting free water okay so it's after the meter so just follow your cold line until you can find a nice accessible spot I have a couple up there nice accessible spot for me anyways and that was kind of not too far away from my fridge and just a reminder if you're installing a humidifier it wants to be connected to your water, your hot water line coming out of your hot water tank, okay? So not before. So this is my main hot water line coming out of the water, the hot water tank. So that's where I connected this saddle valve. And that supplies water to my humidifier. Well, here's a few simple tools you're going to need for your ice maker kit. which you'll usually get is your saddle valve and then a line and uh, your saddle valve will take a screwdriver and or a Phillips and a couple of crescents to make it easy you can go and find the right size of wrench and some sandpaper so in your saddle valve kit you obviously get your saddle valve that's what these two long screws are for and don't forget about this plastic or sorry this rubber and make sure it goes in correctly. This is kind of rounded, so that goes against the pipe. And of course, there is the little extender. Make sure that goes where the pointer is. And so it should look like that. So the purpose of a saddle valve is to pierce your copper line. So once you get it all tightened, and I'll show you, you screw this in. Keep screwing, and you'll see that pointer come out. Screw it all the way in. And this is kind of how you would turn off it. You, you turn uh, clockwise, and that would turn off your water source. You've pierced your line, but you haven't introduced any wire into your fridge. So now to open it up, you just turn it back counterclockwise and that will slowly introduce water into your line here so that's kind of what the saddle valve does but let's get one hooked up okay for all intents purposes 
this is your find you found yourself a nice cold line near your fridge underneath it wherever you can get a, a hole through your floor in that and so let's just pretend this is a good flowing copper line and it's full of water right now but remember I showed you make sure you know where your coal where your main water line shutoff valve is just in case but anyways take some of your sandpaper clean that Now, let's take your valve here. Two screws. Make sure that the needle point is turned way back. You don't want it touching your pipe yet. Don't forget your rubber and make sure it's pushed in there and you've got the direction of the so it should look like this. The, the curve meets the pipe. Okay, now Maybe you want your line going this way, maybe you want the water line going that way. You just figure it out how, how you want it. Let's get it on there. Let's get the bottom part. Okay, so you got it in position. Make sure these are at equal spacing. You don't want one really, really tight or a big gap in this one. So tighten it evenly on both sides. You go back and forth. So let's grab our screwdriver or your Phillips, whatever, your crescent, and let's give it a few tights. See, that's starting to, so let's go to this side. Let's get it even. That way it has even pressure. You want it kind of fairly tight, but obviously don't squish your pipe. So it's kind of, Go with two finger, two finger torque on your drive, on your screwdriver. Then a whole hand. Okay, so make sure again these are even. I can go a little bit more on this side. Then I know it's good and tight. There we go. Okay, even spacing looks good. We haven't pierced nothing, you still got water in your line, you haven't done anything. Now what you should do is physically let's connect everything to the water line. Let's, let's get this water line in. So obviously you've got a hole drilled in your floor, you got access to your a humidifier or your fridge however you're depending remember humidifier this will be installed on a hotline on your fridge slash ice maker this will be installed on your cold line okay so uh, get your exacto knife and make a nice clean cut on that pipe nice and flat because you're gonna have to install the nut get that on first then there's a little brass compression. Sometimes it's brass and sometimes it's plastic. We'll use the brass. And that should fit over your pipe. Okay. Now we take your inside collar, and that actually goes on the inside. So basically, this putting this on and make sure it's very important you don't forget when that compression and this gets tightened it's it's nice and tight it won't not collapse this pipe or this line okay let's get this on make sure it's pushed in there good and then now tighten And you keep tightening until it gets tight, not loose. And then 
you do a tug test. Pull this out. Make sure, make sure you can't pull this out. Okay, so we would repeat that process on the other end, on, on your fridge line. Again, Okay, so once this is all nice and tight, you've done a tug pull, you've pulled it, make sure it's really on there good. Go upstairs, feed this through your hole upstairs and let's connect it to your fridge. So your fridge, you'll be using this connector. Now your fridge might already have something like this that you hook up your quarter line to, which is great. But again, repeat that process. Okay, we get the nut on first. The compression ring, the inner, inner sleeve, and let's tighten it. And of course that's where you're going to need two crescents. So again you keep on going until it's good and tight. Okay. There we go. So basically this is at your fridge now. Now, double check everything. So now it's okay to pierce your pipe. So, again, let's screw it in. Clockwise. You'll feel it get tight, but you realize you're going through some copper. So screw in until you can't screw it in anymore. Should get a little bit easier. There you go. I just felt it fully pierce it. Screw in all the way. There you go. It came to a dead stop. So now you know it is pierced. Water has not come into your line yet. Double check everything here before you continue on. Make sure there's no leaks. You still got full water pressure in your house. Make sure there's no leaks. Looks good. Slowly back this off. And it'd be great if you had somebody upstairs to make sure your connection on your fridge is good now too, to make sure it's not leaking up there. And you release this. Turn it all the way until you can't turn it. It'll come to a stop. There we go. It's fully open now. Now you should add water to your fridge or your humidifier. Again, double check all your connections. Make sure everything is good. Make sure there's no drips upstairs, here. There you go, that is a simple valve, a saddle valve installation on a uh, cold water line for your fridge or your hot water line to your humidifier. Yeah. Okay, maybe you're in a newer house and you have this white line. That's called PEX. And some newer houses, they have that. It's a little bit different to tie into that for your humidifier or for your uh, fridge. So, with this plastic stuff, you cannot install a saddle valve. You actually got to get a special valve. And there's a few different kinds and I'll show you. But before we can even think of installing, we definitely have to shut the water off when we're dealing with this. So again, go to your main water source, shut off. And then what I usually do is because you're usually working in the basement, maybe go to your downstairs sink and turn on the water and maybe drain some of the water out of your lines. So, there are several ways to work with this uh, plex tubing and if you want to be able to get a water line to your fridge or humidifier, there are several ways to do it. There's one way and that's actually, it's crimped on, so it actually gets shoved on the inside of your pipe and then there's a special little tool and a special little clamp, uh, clamp that you squeeze and it locks it in and then you can put your water line here and this will turn it on. 
that style you re you require a special tool and uh, crimps. What I usually always use something called this. Now this is uh, they come in several names, but a there's a Pro Bite. It's called sometimes push and connect sometimes a sh uh, shark bite, and it's quite easy. Once you cut your pipe, hence that's why we got to shut off your water line. These just push right on, and I have an example here. It's actually not quite a water line, but same purposes. This is a T and this is where your fridge line would go. So these just simply push on. There you go. I'm connected. It's done. Now there's also a little special tool to remove this. And it basically it just pushes on and you push and it comes off. So what it's actually doing, it's, it's pushing on this um, light brownish evenly and so this one is basically let's say your plumber has installed a PEX line that's near your fridge this is what you would want is a straight through okay so the, your main water line goes in there and then your uh, quarter inch line would connect to that and then there's your valve to turn it on and off let's say you don't quite have water right to your fridge you're going to need uh, this guy so this is basically what this is a T so you can let the water keep on going and then right here imitating this this is what will go to your fridge or your humidifier so when you do get this you can see everything is included here but just make sure you might have to go out and uh, get a couple of these collars compression and that's for quarter inch line and then of course you're going to need your quarter inch line so it's a little bit more to it for shopping wise as opposed to just buying a saddle valve kit for your copper line but this is how the PEX works not much to it you will need one little tool and it could be bought fairly cheap it's about a ten dollar tool and it's a simple little knife uh, very recommended that way when you do cut your pipe it's a nice clean cut don't think you're going to be able to use an exacto knife or anything this is a pretty in inexpensive tool don't get the fancy one this is like a ten dollar tool I've had this for quite a few years and this will cut pretty big pipe and it will even cut your nice uh, quarter inch uh, line really nice and smooth okay so basically this is your line now you push this in make sure it's pushed in all the way and that's it you are connected again let's try to simulate you, you cut your line there make sure your valve is still off so now I'm in the line here now I will take my water line main water line here and remember let's see here let's get that nut on first the compression ring the inner collar and then I would be tightening it to where it's supposed to tighten it really good tighten it tighten it tighten it remember you're not turning anything on yet okay so once that is tight you would go to your fridge and again your fridge will have a connector you might have to T connector just look at your fridge how it sometimes the fridge is all ready for this but if not you just have to get the right pieces there people will help you so let's get that nut on first the compression ring and remember the compression ring could be even plastic all depends and then let's get our inner collar on and then let's tighten this to the tight tighten it to the fridge and make sure it's tight and always give it a good tug test once everything is nice and tight go to your main water line now and turn it on slow not fast very slow you'll hear it 
fill up your lines again and then maybe go to that downstairs uh, tap and turn it on Re release any air bubbles go to where this is nothing's leaking it shouldn't leak these are pretty solid proof as long as you pushed it on as hard as you can you made a nice clean cut you should be safe and slowly turn this on turn your valve on slowly again your valve could be just one lever or this it, it all depends but turn it on slowly and you should see water entering your line if not you might be able to hear it have someone upstairs or you go upstairs confirm it's not leaking at your fridge or your humidifier make sure you got good connections all the way through and then open that line and then test out your fridge so there is two ways of installing a water line to your humidifier or your ice maker slash fridge so PEX and copper two different ways of installing a water line well I sure hope this helps and uh, don't be scared always give it a try just go slow pay attention read the instructions obviously know where your main water is in case something goes haywire run to that right away but you should have no problems and uh, in no time you'll be enjoying uh, ice in your fridge